In this lesson, I'm going to be explaining to you the concepts of class interval, class limits, and class boundary. Class intervals are the subsets or subgroups into which a particular data are grouped. Now, let's look at this table. In this frequency distribution table, there are five class intervals. One, two, three, four, five. There are five class intervals. Uh, so let's look at the meaning of class limits. Class limits, in class limits, the upper extreme values of the first class interval and the lower extreme value of the next class interval will not be equal. So what I mean by that is that the value that ends, that ends a class limit it's not always the same as the value that begins the next class interval. I repeat, I rephrase. The value that ends the first class interval, 19 for example, is not always the value that begins the next class interval. So 19 ends the class interval, yeah, but 20 begins it. They are different. 19 and 20 are not the same value 30 31 uh, so 40 ends the class interval here but the next value 42 begins it here 52 ends the class interval but 53 begins it here now that's not the case for for classes boundary in class boundary the upper extreme value of the first class interval and the lower extreme value of the next interval will be equal. Hmm? So the value that ends this class interval is 19.5 and the value that begins it is the same value 19.5. Here also 30.5 ends it here. That the same 30.5 begins it begins the next class interval. 40.5 ends it and 41.5 41.5 sorry ends it here and 41.5 also ends it begins it here 52.5 ends this class interval here the same 52.5 begins the class interval here unlike class limits where you have that the value that ends a particular class interval is not the same value that begins the next class interval so for class limits, there are two class limits, just like we have two class boundaries. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, there is a name for the number that begins a class interval. It's called class, it's called lower class limit. Lower class limit. So the values that begins a class interval is always called lower class limit. Why the value the values that ends all these ones the value that ends a particular class uh, interval is called upper class limit. Upper class limit. So just like you have two limits upper class limit and lower class limit all these ones all these are the lower class limits while all these are the upper class limits so also in class boundaries there are two class boundaries the lower class boundaries these are <coughs> excuse me all these all these are the lower class boundaries lower class <coughs> excuse me lower class boundaries well all these are the upper class boundaries upper upper class boundaries class boundaries okay so now i'm going to explain to you how to write out class boundaries if you are given class limits 
there's a way you can write out the class limit so that the value that ends a particular class interval will begin it so now what we have here are class limits because the value that ends for example 1 to 4 4 4 ends this class interval but 5 begins it 4 and 5 are not the same so these are all class limits the first parts of the class are called upper are called sorry are called lower class limits and the lower the second part of the class interval are called upper class limits so now to get your class boundaries what you are going to do is to take notes of the value that ends the first class interval four and the value that begins it four and five the difference between four and five is uh, one five minus four is one so you are going to take the difference between those two values the value that ends that's the upper class limit of the first class interval and the lower class limit of the second or the next class uh, interval take the difference my difference is one five minus four is one so you are going to divide one by two that's the next step first step is to get the difference between those two values next step is to divide the difference which is one by two and that gives us 0.5 so what we are going to do to get the class boundaries from all these class uh, limits is to subtract 0.5 from the lower class from all these lower class um, limits and add and add 0.5 to all these upper class uh, limits so let's do that so 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 4 plus 0 0.5 is 4.5 5 minus 0 0.5 is 4.5 8, my 8 plus 0 0.5 is 8.5 next 9 minus 0 0.5 is 8.5 12 plus 0 0.5 is 12.5 13 minus 0 0.5 is 12.5 16 plus 0 0.5 is 16.5 17 minus 0 0.5 is 16.5 and 20 plus 0 0.5 is 20.5 so once you do this you would have successfully transformed your class limits into class boundaries so as you can see unlike um, the class limits where you have that the last value which is the upper class limit of the first class interval is not the same as the lower class limit of the next interval and so on the upper class limits is not the same as the lower class limit of the next one for class boundaries they are now the same this one is the same as this 8.5 is the same as this and so on uh, so the upper class boundary of the first class interval is the same as the lower class la lower class limit of the next class interval so that's how to go about transforming class limits into class boundaries i will repeat how to go about it take a difference take the difference between take the difference of the number that ends the first class interval and the number that begins the next class class interval take the, take the difference get your answer divide your answer by two now in in this case we got 0 0.5 then you subtract 0 0.5 from all of the all of these lower class limits
to get your to get your lower class boundaries then you add 0.5 to all these lower class limits to get your sorry the upper class limit not lower class limit add 0.5 to all these upper class limits to get your upper class boundaries so all these all these values circled here are called lower class class limits all the values circled here are upper class limits all of these values these ones are the lower class boundaries don't mind my handwriting lower class boundaries yes all of these ones are the upper class boundaries upper class boundaries okay so your ex your exercise will be to do exactly what, I, what i've done using this um frequency distribution so you have to write out the class boundaries of all these class limits just the way i did it in my example uh, and you are going to ad identify the class the lower class limits upper class limits lower class boundary and the uh, upper class boundaries so circle it out just the way i've done it here and identify which of them are lower class limits upper class limits and so on